What's going on guys, it's me at 135 Media Barrels and today I have a new update for you guys dealing with Supercraft Bros and I know you guys have been uh, very persistent about wanting me to update this map and I just kind of never really got around to it because I've been working on uh, the modded survival and I decided to uh, start putting some work into this map again since all I really need to do is just wait for Oprah to update his tool and then I can add the villagers and yeah and then I'll be able to get some downloads out for that map hopefully but this video is not about that this video is about the update and you can see there are a lot of them a lot of updates I mean <laughs> so let's uh, I guess let's get into it so the first update is added a new map it's called cloud and it was made by mighty ripples I'm sure you guys know of him I added four new classes, which we'll go into. A reduced feather falling to level seven, so that hopefully you will not, or you will die when you hit the ground this time. Uh, I removed helmets. Uh, I meant to say except. I'll change that. Except if a class has a head. So if you're playing as a, a creeper, you would get the creeper head or the zombie head. But if you're playing as like a blaze, then you would not have any head or any helmet. So that's how that works. And I colored armor to match each uh, class colors. I added spectator, spectator area for each map, which I'll uh, show in a second here. I added speed potions to get to maps faster. I reduced map randomizer lag by a lot. <laughs> reduced uh, random or man uh, map randomizer now turns on off any on maps, which I'll also explain. And map now has map is now in adventure mode which equals peaceful mode I cannot read there at the end so basically uh, I made it in adventure mode which is that as long as you're in peaceful mode no mobs will spawn so you need to worry about mobs on the uh, on the maps and stuff and you'll still lose hearts and, and health and stuff as if you're in easy mode so that's how that's gonna work just play in peaceful mode and that will be good to go so we're gonna I'm gonna show you the spectating spectating area. So if we go into the player one, we can see that there's a spectator steps right here. And now after you go through all five of your lives and whatnot, these pistons will open up and you'll run up the steps like this, and then you'll get hit with a speed potion, and that allows you to run around to whatever map you need to get to, nice and fast. And uh, we'll just get another one, another splashes of those. But let's say we want to go to Candyland, we would go this way. Do do, -do keep on running, and we can see now we go this way is Candyland, and then you can see Candyland's right here. We jump down, and we could watch the uh, fight pursue as we are in our death area. <laughs> so once everyone dies and they have no more lives. You're going to open this up and you're going to jump down and fall to your death so that you spawn back up in your room and you hit the reset lives and everything. I'm going to fly back up through all of this though and um, go back down. And then, oops, that's the wrong spot. And do that. So, that's how the spectator steps work. Each room has one and each room will have arrows where as you come out that shows which way you want to go based on whatever map it is. Or based on whatever map you want to go spectate. Uh, I haven't changed anything in the uh, lag, or in the lag button, in the reset lives button. Uh, it works the same. So as always, you're going to jump down here. You're going to step on that and step to the pistons. And this will not be here. And you're going to see that this room is set up, or this room up here is set up a little bit differently. And I added those classes. classes. And... I've reduced this down to one button, which is really good, and this has been reduced, like, of all of its lag, basically, and then, like I said, it's one button, so all you need to do is press the button, and it will randomly select a map to play on. So, if we just hit the button, you will see that uh, this one right here came down, which is Candyland, because you can see that's the one next to it, and it will automatically retract by itself. And let's say we wanted to try a different map, hit the button, and then this one will come down, or this one will be Mushroom. And you can see you can read it from the fences and lining up and everything. Uh, there's these signs behind it that are blank and everything. Um, this basically is just saying like this setup right now has a capacity of nine maps, and 
If I ever do get to the point where there'll be nine maps, this will all be working as a randomizer and you hit the button and it will randomly pick one of these maps. This one was Cloud. So I'm sure you guys are dying to see the new classes. Um, the first one is Steve, so we could hit the button and get all the stuff here. Uh, we get a leather, you know, get a little leather gear and stuff, nice and colored. Oh, and the helmet, I forgot, or the head. I don't know why there's an auto equip. Um, so yeah, now we're Steve. <laughs> and we get Steve's pick, which gives us sharpness one, knockback one, and unbreaking one. So that's that. I'll take all this stuff off. And then the next one is an iron golem. Uh, let's actually get rid of this stuff in the inventory. Hit the button and we get all this stuff. Um, so now we kind of look like an iron golem. Especially with that head, we look like an iron golem. And we got a stone sword with unbreaking one, or that's actually 255, so it never breaks. And we get a fire rose, which allows us to set people on fire with our rose. Now we'll uh, get rid of all this stuff. Next one is a wither skeleton. Hit that button and equip all of your armor, and now we look like a wither skeleton. Um, and then this one is actually, when you take it out, a kind of what I would imagine to be a wither skeleton fist, it kind of looks like. So I renamed it that, and it's Sharpness 2, and you could just punch people and stuff. And then my favorite class so far that I've ever made is called the Mage. Um, you only take one of these out, and you get an invisibility potion. Ignore the unbreaking on it. I accidentally did that, and never went back to fix it. <laughs> um, it doesn't really change the way any, any of the potion works, so I just kept it. Um, and then if we hit the button here, we should get a, a bunch of stuff. Um... We get all of our armor and stuff, and it's nice and colorful to signify that we're the mage. And you can see that we get uh, some books here. Now, this will be the Book of Sharpness, and it has Sharpness 2 on it. This is the Book of Fire, and it has Fire Aspect. And this is the Fook. The Fook. <laughs> the Book of Knockback, and it has Knockback on it. Knockback 2. So, as you're fighting, you're going to be like Sharpness, Fire, and then Knockback, and then run away while they're burning, and then when they catch back up, Sharpness, Fire, Knockback, and. So on, and that's kind of my favorite class. I really like the way I set that up and stuff. And then, of course, we have the invisibility potion where we can make ourselves go invisible. But uh, if you have armor on, you could still see that the potion will make you, will not make the armor just appear, only your body. So if you want to go full invisibility mode, you're going to have to make sure nothing's in your hand you have to, and you have no armor on. So you're kind of really weak, but you are invisible, but they can also still see your particles. But if you find a nice little spot to go high, they might not be able to see it while you regenerate, and then you can come back and do work. So I have that set up, which I thought was pretty cool. You just kind of remember, if you really do want to get the full effect of it, you're going to take everything off and make sure nothing's in your hand. But that's the way that works. Uh, so those are new classes. Let's see, these are recreated maps. We'll show you Cloud. And this is the other one here. You can see that uh, we stepped on that. We got, uh, actually, no, we didn't. Hmm. I don't know if, I don't know why it's not working. Well, we're supposed to get a uh, speed, but I don't know why we aren't getting it. Hmm. I don't know. I'll I'll just look into that, I guess, and see what's wrong. But we're still in that pressure plate. We're supposed to get speed. Um, I don't know why we aren't. Oh, there we go. Speed. So yeah, this is just make it so you can run across here and get the places quicker, but. We see the new clouds map. I can get rid of these signs, and you can see that this is now a button, a button instead of a lever. So if we hit the switch, this will open up and everything, and then the map will start. And you know you can find your spawns and jump down. And this is what cloud looks like. Uh, it's kind of on the darker side, but that's only because it's like technically like you're supposed to be like you're fighting in the sky and you know, all clouds and it's hard to see and stuff like that. So that's that. And since I ha as long as you're in peaceful mode, no models will spawn on these islands and stuff, so you should be good. Um, that's what cloud looks like. All the drops are the same. It works. Same idea. So the way the map uh, setup works, as I said before in the very beginning, where if you hit the map randomizer, it'll, it'll turn off any on maps. So let's say everyone died and we're done with Cloud and we might go play a different map. You hit this button and we would get, of course we did get Cloud. We'll just wait for that to happen.
but actually it doesn't matter because even if we do select cloud you can see that this door is now closed which is the cloud the map we just went through and the map is now turned off uh, so yeah that's how that works it doesn't matter what map you're on we could have been on village and it'll reset it but this just makes it so you don't need to run all the way down to whatever to like cloud let's say and then run all the way back and stuff just to go play mushroom or go all the way down to this end and play Candyland. so that's what that setup is for uh, so that's kind of to help you like I said I mean I mean the, the map randomizer is kind of pointless besides the fact it was pointless but now it actually does something and it'll reset the maps for you so you don't need to go running all the way down to the map that you were last on and yeah guys I guess that is about it for this update I think that's all the stuff I've added it has been kind of long like 12 minutes but I want to go over everything that I added and as you guys can tell it is a lot so uh, please do drop a like be sure to download it and let me know what you guys think any bugs or missing blocks or anything just let me know be sure to fix it and hopefully I'll uh, do some more updates with this map maybe add another uh, map and some more classes and stuff and try to find ways to reduce lag and things of that sort so for now guys that's about it hope you have enjoyed this update and thanks for watching